This video contains spoilers for the Tokyo Revengers anime and is intended for those who are up to date with the manga. Since the very start of the story, one mystery kept us curious. One single question had the most impact on the timeline. It wasn't about how the time travel element works, neither was it why Kisaki keeps killing Hina. That one mystery was about what happens to Mikey, how and why does he change. At first it was Kisaki who influenced and controlled him, and when Takemichi prevented that, it was because of the ex-black dragon's money along with Kisaki's influence. And when that was prevented and there was no more Kisaki, the same outcome still happened. No matter what the reason was, whether it's Takemichi leaving Toman, Draken or Emma's death, one thing was inevitable, and that was that Sano Manjiro always ends up going evil, often killing the people closest to him without care, and attempting to kill himself time and time again. How is it that the once bright and charismatic childish kid one who people look up to, one who is different and has a noble goal, becomes an evil, emotionless and a desperate person. Out of all the characters in the story, the one who took the longest to appear in the future timeline was Mikey. Sometimes he disappears and sometimes he can't be reached. And when he first makes that appearance, it's after killing his closest friends and comrades. And attempting suicide. Even when he learned about the time travel thing, he still warned Takemichi not to save him. It's as if he knows that what is coming is inevitable, and that he is not someone who can be saved. By far, the best outcome and future that we have seen is the one after the events of Tenjiku, following Kisaki's death. Everyone survived, not only that, but all of them are living happily and are safe. All but one that is. Mikey was the only one left out of this fate, and he knows it, and thinks that it's worth sacrificing his future for those he cared about. But Takemichi doesn't see it that way, and the stubborn, brave crybaby hero will never abandon his friend. These dark urges or impulses that Mikey speaks of are not special to only him. But lately we saw South with the same thing, and both of them know that they both have them. Terano's urges made him grow to become a violent person, an emotionless monster who enjoys inflicting damage on others. Hell, he even thinks of it as entertainment and treats it like music. And I would like to think that Taiju Shiba had the same thing, maybe even Izana. And the one who enjoys violence more than anyone else, Hanma Shuji. But still, even though if these characters have these urges that brings out the worst out of them, they all apparently enjoy it. And the same cannot be said about Mikey. Throughout the whole manga, there isn't a single moment where Mikey displayed joy when fighting, when inflicting damage, mainly because most times he is emotionally drained and hurt. But still, not once has Mikey enjoyed violence, or used it for his own pleasure like so many other people do. At the most extremes, Mikey always looks empty, void of emotions, broken and desperate. What is the thing that the author of Tokyo Revengers is trying to communicate through this concept of dark urges? We don't really know as of yet because for the main part it's still a mystery, only mentioned now and then, and it's better to wait for the author's idea instead of interpreting it as any psychological theme. It for the most part resembles pure evil, but again, Mikey is not really evil. For more about the concept of evil in anime, check out the videos I made about it a while ago. So, we have a mysterious internal thing that causes this change, and from what we know, what kept Mikey in check and worked as a suppressor to these urges was his closest people, his older brother Shinichiro, his sister Emma, 
his childhood friend Baji and his right arm and friend Draken, who all have died in the series. All of his closest ones left his life one by one, like screws falling out. It is clear why Mikey would not stay the same after all he was robbed of. The current arc is the final arc of the manga and it is the perfect way to end the series in my opinion, to tackle Mikey's character arc and make it the focus of the events. After all, he is the most important character there is. Without him, there is no Tokyo Revengers. The impact Mikey has on the story is unmatched to anyone else's. So back to the question of should Takemichi have just abandoned him and lived in the best timeline so far or risk it all in order to try and save him as well? There is no other answer than the latter. Takemichi can never live with the knowledge that he abandoned Mikey. And after all, Takemichi is the new Chinichiro in Mikey's life. Ever since they met, that was the reason they got along. And Mikey even told him to keep an eye on him and scold him like an older brother whenever he does something bad or wrong. So both directly by crying for help and indirectly by hinting at being reminded, Mikey wants to be saved by Takemichi. Even with the fact that Draken ended up dying because of Takemichi returning to the past, Draken would probably sacrifice his life in order to save Mikey's, just like Izana did to Kokusho, also getting to meet Emma in the afterlife. But what is truly sad is that Mikey seems to not care, which Koko notices and is shocked by. Koko being someone who was separated from someone he cares about, just like Mikey was separated from Draken. So he can't believe that he doesn't care, because he still cares about Inui, even though they were separated. Very strong parallels between the two duos, even if we consider that one of each loved the sister of the other and such, which also might be foreshadowing to the death of Inui in the future as well. Parallels are strongly present in the story, and we can see them in Mikey's journey a lot more prominently through his hairstyle change throughout timelines. In the first original timeline where Draken dies, he has long blonde hair and a dragon tattoo on his neck, followed by the timeline where Baji died and Mikey appears with long black hair just like Baji's. One time he appears like Shinichiro and in the latest appearance he resembles Izana a lot all people he cares about and people who have died. But more than just losing these people and being powerful, the reason Mikey always ends up with more problems than he can handle is his wrong understanding to righteousness and his moral compass which he usually depends on what he thinks is right rather than what he wants or what the people want. For example, he did not interfere when Pachin was getting beat by Osanai. He did not value Pachin's health and safety, but let him go fight Osanai who is much stronger. Pa then got sent to jail because he stabbed Osanai and decided to stay behind in order to save his friends. But Mikey still tried to get him out of jail instead of respecting his decision to stay behind which not only caused him to get into a conflict with Draken, who knew that what Mikey was doing is wrong, but even that put Draken's life in danger later. When Baji died, Mikey was more concerned about getting revenge than realizing that his friend died and crying about it or showing any emotions at all. Without Takemichi making him realize it, Mikey would have let his friend die for nothing. To Mikey, doing what is right is a must, and that prevents him from seeing the clear picture, from understanding others, and that's why he is vulnerable and can be controlled by the likes of Kisaki. All Kisaki has to do is show him that what he wants is the logical right thing to do, and Mikey would fall for it. Mikey is not the perfect leader, he is strong and he has a good heart, but he has a bad mentality, a wrong way of understanding righteousness and morality. 
in an attempt to live up to or revive his older brother's legacy. And this is where Takemichi comes in. With almost no strength nor charisma or intelligence, Takemichi is destined to be a better leader than Mikey or Kisaki can ever be. To make his life through not just willpower but help and meaningful connections with others. Takemichi more than anyone knows the value of human life. Because he lost many. Because he saved many. He suffered and learned through his suffering. So he is the only person who can possibly understand and save Mikey from the pit he is in. Showing him that he is never alone and no matter how much he loses, he can always gain more. Once Mikey understands the value of others emotions and not just his. Once he values others lives and his own life, he can start to suppress those dark urges for himself and hopefully overcome them. Many thanks for watching.